When Ear Callan suggested that we film in New Caledonia, I found myself wondering why I hadn't considered filming in the islands before. New Caledonia is a short flight, only two and a half hours from Auckland, but culturally, the capital Numea is totally different. Our arrival coincided with that of a storm, and although inclement weather kept us off the water for a couple of days, some of the local sailors were more intrepid. Having a couple of days to explore opened my eyes to a little of the local magic. We found a lot about the islands to be truly unique, and although the weather had gone to the dogs, a few Kiwis and a couple of locals were battling it out on the Patonk pitch by the waterfront. Very French Patonk, and very competitive. The locals were all very friendly, and the smiles encouraged the sun to shine. Next morning, Jerry, our new mere fishing guide, steered a course to the outer reef and a young chap named Gareth had joined us as a winner in one of the Exide competitions. This was Gareth's game fishing debut. A lonely looking figure was poised and ready to reel in a whopper. when you can start to work your fish back. But at the moment, it's all his. Whoa, first day and he's on a marlin, I don't believe it. Well done. Good going, huh? Good going. Excellent. Nice. Quite a lot of light in the water. The trick is that you can actually take the weight off your hands. Okay, yeah. I take off this, huh? Yeah? Okay. Is it? Okay, yeah. What are we going to do with the fish, Skipper? Are you going to keep them or tag and release them? Sure. What, what, tag and release? No, just release. Yeah. The amazing thing is, we've just been sitting back having a bit of lunch and going, God, it's quiet, there's no birds, there's no nothing happening. But it only ever takes one fish to change a day that's mediocre into something pretty special. And just as we're talking about it, bang, a marlin jumps on the 30 pound gear, which is reasonably light, and uh, Gareth's into his first marlin. Superb. What are the main seasons that you charter for the different species? Um, yellowfin, it's uh, mainly uh, from December till uh, March, and uh, that's the marlin season uh, with the tuna. We get the uh, wahoo uh, all the year uh, running, and uh, my mai, it's more uh, March until uh, July. Okay. Well, I'd be happy with any of those. Yeah. What sort of size? So like average yellowfin, average marlin? The average marlin is between 80 to uh, 150. Yellows? Uh, yeah. That, that's the average. And for yellowfin, it's more uh, 15 kilos. And uh, we can catch some uh, bigger, like 30, 35, some, sometimes 40. Sometimes 60. Sometimes it could be better, bigger. And my my it's uh, around uh, 7 to uh, 15 kilos. 
and with the marlin, are they mostly blues? Uh, black. Black, black marlin. Okay. I think this one uh, is a black marlin. I was just going to say that one of the classics for a new angler is that they usually just wind, and with a spool like this, which is quite wide, the line gets into a big bump. And uh, here, what Gareth's doing, which is really, really good, is spreading the line across the spool so it grows evenly. Because if you've got a fully packed spool, when you get up near the top of the spool, you can jam the line if you've got a ridge or a bump underneath the, the ridges on the, uh, that go across the reel. And if you do that, you fray the line, and at worst, you can break it quite easily. Doing well. That was the final flurry before the line broke. Whether something cut through it or the line became frayed, I do not know, but that was one very disappointed angler. <laughs>